another game here from uh, Zock and Eisen from Ranked. This one is a Roanoke Classic map. Not everybody loves this map. It's pretty difficult. In my opinion, once again, we got EEF for Zock. Eisen is sticking to his Cybern. Looks like first land for both players. We'll speed it up at first, so we'll see. We should see some early bombers, some early dog fights here. Well, looks like just engineers picking up mass. Never want to neglect all these rocks that are scattered. It looks like second air from Zok. You can see very fast engineers from Eisen. You're going to try to take these islands, and that's really the early battles. How much of the map you can control. Some of the earliest engineers now moving out. Those are great targets for bombers. No bombers yet for Zok, and very similar. So both players uh, going first land, and the engineers moving out very quickly into the field. Now we should see some bombers coming out. Yeah, here comes a bomber for Eisen here. Coming up on minute three, looks like he's going to go third air. A really quick factories there, minimal pigeons. And uh, very similar here for Zox, he's going third air as well. Pretty big pigeon spam. And a bomber for two bombers for Zok. A bomber and interceptors for Eisen. That's really the only difference now. An interceptor instead of a bomber. It looks like uh yeah, this bomber has been spotted. And it's gonna look for this engineer. It's it's a question of whether or not this interceptor can get there fast enough. And that was an excellent bomb there from um Zok. But it does get taken out. And uh, here, not as much luck, it seems. Those are crucial bombs there from Zok. Prevents the expansion to those islands and the transport for Zok. And that's going to be tragic if it. Oh, six engineers dead. I was thinking about dropping that island. You can see all the engineers uh, are alive for uh, Zok here. Not too much bombing from Eisen. Pretty big air spam, and uh, looks like Zok will take air. Although plenty of air on top for Eisen. And a bomber coming out for Eisen as well. But it'll be a question whether or not these factories on the islands. Looks like there was a little bit of trouble here for uh, Zok. And here comes this bomber, but no, this factory is built. Let's see if this bomber can do a little bit of damage. And a transport not coming out for Eisen. He's going to take that island. And it looks like four air factories, two land factories for Eisen. And a T2 air factory for Eisen. Quite a few T2 mass extractors as well. So a lot of ecoing, a lot of Tech 1 fighting. Transport for Zok. Zok really wants to take that island. He's got a lot of bombers going in that direction, a lot of interceptors. Well, you can see Eisen knows about this. Uh, but actually, he just got distracted by a single interceptor, so a good move from Zok. Still a successful factory, you know, getting hit by some bombers. A successful drop, let's see if these are going to build factories. They're gonna, they should spread out. And an air fight here. That it appears that Eisen will take. And some good uh, bomb dodging there, gets one factory done. It's a one-on-one -on -one in terms of factories, although a total air control now for Eisen. This should be a doom drop. So we should see both players take very even numbers. That's a very nice placement for a T2 uh, land factory from Zok. He's now making riptides. It's a big advantage for EEF versus Cybern. Looks like two doomed factories there. That's 500 mass just wasted. T2 bombers now coming out for Eisen. And these are going to try to put a pressure on this island. see a lot of flak here, but only a single factory. So if he loses that factory, it could be a problem for Zok. Although these riptides should do a lot of damage all over the map. T2 gunships for Eisen. And you can see here, this flag's doing its job. 
It looks like Eisen is just going to run away. Some uh, single drops here, engineer and engineer action. And Zok is quicker. In terms of Navy, we see T2 Navy here for Eisen, minute 12. I really got to slow this down. Cruiser coming out now for Eisen. T2 Navy with a cruiser for uh, Zok as well, but he also has three factories spamming Tech 1 Navy. We do see uh, Barracuda T2 submarine from Eisen, and uh, based on the units that Zalk has made, it should have no problem taking out a couple of those frigates. T2 bombers versus Riptides. And it's very difficult to call the game at this moment. Both players have a lot of weapons. A little more air for uh, Eisen, but perhaps a little more navy for Zalk. Although trouble with the submarine. And we see T2 torpedo launcher that should save a lot of these units for the Zok. Looks like the sub is retreating. Cruiser moving out into the middle. And these riptides are doing damage for Zok, although T2 gunship should take care of it. This, is, this island is a little weak for Zok if it was a target for Eisen. Also a pretty weak island, although we do see T2 land. Looks like T2 land here for Eisen, so it's going to be a pretty good island. And gunships moving out as long as together with transports. A transport will be shot. And two uh, submarines here plus a cruiser. A stealth field. It's a T3 sonar for a siren. It's going to be a big advantage. T3 sonar for UEF as well. It's a torpedo launcher. Be a good unit against the submarines. Uh, something's going to have to happen in this game. Someone's going to have to make a mistake. Otherwise, it's extremely even here at minute 16. Both players getting good good navies. I mean, in terms of... Uh, yeah, I'll be very close here in terms of these navies. A little more torpedo uh, capacity for Eisen. But definitely numbers here. So those cruisers could be a little vulnerable against those frigates. As long as they use their micro on the stealth. Yeah, these frigates will die based on this micro from Eisen. We'll just outrun them, but losing that uh, sonar would be very bad. And now some uh, bombers coming in. Great use of bombers together with the Navy for Eisen. Excellent work. And now these uh, destroyers for Zok also in trouble against the Air Force. Cruiser retreating. Of course, one thing that Zok has is those riptides. Uh, those can definitely help out the Navy. We see some Wagners, Wagners, uh, Richard Wagners, uh, getting out of the ocean, taking out mass extractors, riptides floating on top. And uh, here's some T2 uh, bombers for Eisen getting taken out. And perhaps a little bit of trouble here for Zok. He's making cruisers, getting some shields. He's got to get riptides involved. This, yeah, now the riptides are going to try to flank these cruisers. So it should never be underestimated. They don't get hit by torpedoes. So all they got to worry about is those uh, cruisers. And if they get close, they just rip them apart. But cruisers can use their range, and that's exactly what Eisen's doing. Together with gunships, excellent use of units here from Cybern by Eisen. And perhaps attacking the main base here was a mistake from uh, Eisen. He could have easily attacked one of these side bases, and uh, Zok would not be able to do too much. But actually, this is a pretty large submarine force. See, there's six submarines. Big advantage for Cybern. And still, this is the second game where we don't see torpedo boats from Zok, and those are the best uh, submarine units in this game. And one thing that you can do with these, uh, set them to hit ground, if that's what you want to do. And they can knock down shields extremely fast. And this is getting pretty ridiculous. Eisen showing the power of the Cyber Navy here. 
excellent work, and especially with the stealth field, so this is all invisible for Zox radars. I'm really using the range on those cruisers, although some of those cruisers are getting killed. A lot of kills for those cruisers. And now Zok is having to retreat. Major problems for Zok. He's not doing too much in terms of attacking at all. At his main base, he's now making some uh, some arties. I guess that's one thing if you want to look long term. He's got T3 air, multiple T3 power, and multiple destroyers plus a cruiser. He's trying to get some of those torpedo launchers. These will prevent the submarines from getting too close, but these cruisers can outrange those torpedo launchers. It's a 50 range on these, or 45. 80 range on the gun on the cruiser. I believe that's 45, but now we can see these torpedo launchers getting outranged by the cruisers. This destroyer is really pretty helpless against the submarines. Let's see if this arty gets involved. Cyber does not have uh, shields, so the arty is going to be very effective. More gunships coming in for Eisen. It's a very well balanced attack here. Air and Navy. And then the last destroyer for Zok gets killed here, minute 25. And Eisen is a very good naval player, you gotta say. He would be very good on settings if he ever played there. Which he does, but he usually just plays middle. It's pretty good in middle. Haven't really seen uh, Eisen playing on the side. A lot of dead units here for Zok. Now you can see the cruisers have moved on. They're going to hit uh, Zok's economy, taking mass tractors, and these are going to be a huge loss for Zok if he can't get some shields around him. Looking at this Artie, one kill. There's a few Artie here, but doesn't look like they're getting too many kills. There, there goes a few ships. That is going to force Eisen to retreat. One thing to note, this, the uh, expansions for Zok are completely exposed now. Although Zok looks like he is able to keep his uh, naval production. And this T2 uh, air is just doing whatever it wants, taking out that T2 factory. We got some Richard Wagners coming out of the ocean. It looks like a secondary naval production here for uh, Zok. It's a good work from Zok there. But this T2 uh, air is going to be a massive problem. We can see this expansion is for the most part lost for Zok. A nice group of Riptides thinking about moving in, and uh, they probably could. There are a couple of T2 PDs there, but they should be able to do get the job done. We are seeing T3 air now for Zok. Zok getting more T3 power, so a lot more turtle strategy for Zok. Actually, his eco is definitely holding up, but he is taking losses. And a destroyer hero for Zok. Taking on some cruisers and submarines. It's the right way to do it. Chase these cruisers away with the frigates. Although it looks like the submarine just beat that uh, destroyer. <sighs> Haven't not seen a single torpedo boat from Zok. That's the, really the unit that he needs. It looks like he is chasing away those uh, cruisers from uh, Zok, and Zok has survived that early onslaught from Cyber Navy. It really looked bad for him, but somehow uh, miraculously he's still in this game and actually doing very well another assault here from uh, Eisen and given this much T3 power here from Zaki make a um, superior air force and he can make a lot of shields which will make his navy extremely strong we are seeing these cruisers here still doing damage at the expansions this expansion took a big hit you see multiple mass extractors killed no factories, no engineers here. That's really one thing you want to do if you're getting an expansion. And we're seeing some of these stealthy submarines behind Zog's base, but you got to watch out that arty. Some huge hills, uh, kills for that arty. And T3 Navy now for Zog. Added one of his expansions. Looking at the Eco, haven't seen this base for a while. Seen it first T3 power now for Eisen. He is spamming air as well. 
You know, actually, the second T3 power, he's already got one. Pretty big naval spam. Looks like it's just a single uh, naval factory. That's one difference. Eisen's been completely T2 Navy this entire game, not a single frigate. Uh, big advantage for uh, Zok in these confrontations. And now we can see UEF Navy really strong later on with these shields. Massive problems for uh, Eisen. Eisen should switch these cruisers to hit ground. That's really the counter to shields. Do a lot of damage per second. And of course, these. Uh, Submarines can get underneath the shields together, take out those shields and get out. Not too much uh, capacity for torpedoes there from UEF. It's a good looking base here from uh, Zok working on the fifth T3 power. We might see nukes in this one without much power. Although Zok does not have nearly as many mass extractors. Looks like a lot of these. These are a lot of T2 mass structures. A very valuable island here for Eisen, but this one uh, is a little weaker. Looks like it was a solid by some riptides, but successful defense here. Zok is pushing uh, against Eisen. Eisen still hasn't switched to shooting uh, land. And here is a very important moment of the game. We just saw the submarines move in directly underneath the UEF Navy, and they have just wiped out the shields. That was an extremely good move there from Eisen, and a huge loss for Zok. There's going to be a lot of dead units here. Some of these engineers should move in and start killing. And a couple of torpedo boats there, together with the Zok's Navy, would have prevented that from happening. It's a great move there from Eisen, realizing the situation. Now we see 4 5th uh, T3 power for Eisen. These are very sneaky islands here for Zok. He's building directly behind, uh, it's actually T2 here, and a stealth field. It's a very important island here for Zok. If he can get some cruise missiles, he can probably snipe a few of these uh, T3 power generators, which will be very tragic. Absolutely no tactical missile defense there for Eisen. Great bases there for Zok. And here comes this uh, massive submarine navy from uh, Cybern. At this point, uh, Zok doesn't really have a force that can deal with this. He does have a battle cruiser, however, as the first T3 naval unit of the game, and he can definitely make more if he wants to. Of course, battle cruiser is not the counter to submarines. It does have submarine capacity, but not as good as the torpedo boats. Still no torpedo boats. A lot of dead units in this ocean if Zok wanted to pick that up. And the Wagners uh, doing a good job taking out T2 factories. Looks like both players really like, well, especially Zok, T2 factories on uh, the small islands. And here comes the Navy. You see this battle cruiser? It might be caught. Oh, this is going to be terrible. You can see all these submarines. Doing a lot of damage. See those uh, units just disappearing. The cruisers, together with the stealth, stealth field, just got taken out. And the submarines are going to retreat to help out the cruisers. Cruisers using their range, getting behind the island. And any of these frigates that are going to chase. One thing to note, these are stealthy, so Zok is sending units to his death here. Great work from Eisen. Haven't really seen such a great naval battle in a long time. But very good work. Now, these destroyers, we got two destroyers should be targeted by Eisen, take those out, and then easy kills, actually four destroyers there. So a bit of a trouble for this sub for the Marine Force, but it should still be in pretty good shape. And this battle cruiser just ran through a whole bunch of uh, cruisers. Now retreat, these submarines are also extremely fast, as you can tell. A bit of a naval uh, presence here, five cruisers on the other side of the map from Eisen. Got to keep an eye on this. Multiple, uh, this is going to be a big snipe under the stealth field. Might actually go for the ACU with that many missiles. Something like 10 missiles there from Eisen. And we just saw a teleport from Eisen. Eisen has just teleported into Zox base. He must have really thought this was desperate. 
and that was a bit of a mistake so this game unexpectedly <sighs> ends here at minute 41 looking at Zog's base he's got a lot of arty here that could do a lot of damage plus I saw some tech 1 PDs and this game is over unfortunately so many great naval battles and uh, I'm a little disappointed at the end but hopefully people enjoyed it